Hello, Toyota Motorhome community. Chris here from Toyota RV for Sale, and I'm really excited to share this insane custom 4x4 Toyota camper build. The owner started with a non-running 1973 two-wheel drive Chinook and has now turned it into this four-wheel drive LS swap monster. In just a minute, the owner is going to take you through a walk around of the exterior, an interior walkthrough, and a look at the undercarriage. But before that, I wanted to call out some of the key features and specs of this build. Starting with the motor, the engine is a 5.3 LM7 controlled by a Fitech ECM. The engine has been completely gone through. Stage two truck cam for that low end torque, upgraded trunny and rockers, upgraded push rods, upgraded valve springs, new valve stem seals, head gaskets, head studs, oil pump, water pump, timing set, new rear main seal, all, all new gaskets and seals throughout the entire motor. The transmission is a fully built 4L60E with all the updates, including a heavy duty sun shell and new torque converter. The transfer case is an NP241C manual shift. The front axle is an AAM nine and a quarter and the rear is a Dana 70. Both have 373 gears and have been fully serviced. For the suspension, we have front 12 inch travel FOA coilovers with custom radius style long arms. The rear utilizes the factory Chinook leaf springs with a spring over axle conversion to, as the owner puts it, retain that nice smooth ride. This is all sitting on 33 inch Mickey Thompson's with H2 Hummer wheels. Let me know what you think about this build down in the comments and be sure to hit that subscribe button to catch more Toyota Motorhome videos like this one. And with that, let's kick it over to the owner and take a closer look at this 1973 Toyota Chinook Motorhome build. Factory onboard propane. Brand new Mickey Thompson's. Captain's chairs, armrest both sides. Thirty seven miles since the build has been completed. This is the one rust patch mentioned in the ad that was patched by previous owners. Five point three LS. Custom one ton steering. Glove box has a key for the wheel locks and the remote for the winch. This chair also has dual armrests. The seats do fold. And slide forward. And they also recline. Behind this hatch is the back of the refrigerator where you can switch from shore power to 12 volt power. That is a brand new lock cylinder with a key to go with it. Has zip down windows, front and back, both are operational. 
This is a small tear in the top that's been patched. Unfortunately, the previous owner cut this out to install a window, but never did. So it's been temporarily patched. Those are the tears on the headliner mentioned in the ad. Got curtains. Closed for privacy. Sink with a cutting board. Some storage. Rear closet. Refrigerator and storage below. The couch also folds down flat into a bed. 37 original miles. This is the Fitech system. You do not have to keep this gauge here if you don't want. You can simply unplug it back here and store it. That is just so you can see all parameters of the engine. Light surface rust, nothing structural. Custom long arms. FOA coilovers, V-band clamps for the exhaust. Again, superficial. 